Hi there, it's Lisa Spangler with a video for Hero Arts. Today I'm going to be sharing how to make a really cool background using daubers. Here's a look at the finished card, and I really like how this background technique turns out. It makes me think of like distressed wood or something. I really love doing this. So here's the daubers that we're going to be using. We're going to be using the Tide Pool, the White, and the Wet Cement. This is the stamp that we're going to be using. It's called Snowflake Sampler, and I really like this because each snowflake is unique. We're also going to be using a broad-tipped water brush. This is the Tim Holtz water brush. Um, I really like this brush, but you can use a regular paintbrush as well. And then I'm just going to be working with regular cardstock. So you'll want to trim your cardstock so that it's bigger than the stamp because we're going to be starting off um, kind of towards the edge and then working our way towards the other edge. So to start off I'm just going to tap some of each dauber on a nonstick craft sheet. Um, you can use an acrylic block for this if you don't have a craft sheet. And then I'm going to squeeze some of the water from the water brush into the color and just kind of dilute it a little bit and then really load my brush up with the color. Then I'm going to go ahead and just paint stripes, um, kind of starting off the edge of where the stamped area would be and then working my way towards the other edge. And sometimes I even like to put my brush in sideways so I get more of a fine line just to kind of mix things up. So I'm kind of done with the tide pool for now. I'm going to go back and add more later. And I'm switching over to the wet cement. And I'm using a little bit less of the wet cement than I did of the tide pool because I want this to be more of a kind of a wintry scene. So I really want the blue to show through. So this is looking pretty good. Then I like to take the tide pool dauber and apply it directly to this um, work in progress here. This kind of makes darker stripes. Then I go over um, the areas that I just put the dauber down with just plain water. And then I like to go over the whole thing with the white. And this really softens everything and kind of helps blend it together. Um, daubers are water based, so they're really good to mix together like this. Here I'm mixing together some white and some tide pool. And you can keep going back and forth, adding more colors and mixing colors together and um, just until you get it how you like it. So I think this is pretty good, but it kind of needed softening. So here I'm going in with just the white dauber just by itself. And then I'm going to kind of clean my brush off on the back of my hand here and then just go over the white to kind of soften that even more. And so this is looking really, really good. So I think I'm going to stop now. And then I went ahead and dried this with my heat tool. Um, one trick for this is dry it on the front and the back. And that'll help keep it so that it lays flat when it's dry. And then I went ahead and stamped the snowflake sampler with navy. And now I'm going to take the new silver ink and just go along the edges this kind of gives it a little subtle shimmer i don't know if you can see that or not the sunlight keeps going in and out here today so my camera has a hard time adjusting so here is the finished card and here you can see the edges better and then to wrap things up i did a little trick that i always like to do i mix some older snowflake stamps and the snow much joy message with these new daubers and the new um, snowflake sampler. This just kind of helps give new life to older stamps. And I really like how this turned out. It's really wintry and fun. And then to finish everything off, I added some pearls. I added one of each size. And then I have a snowflake um, a felt snowflake and I put a clear button in the middle of the snowflake. And that's it. Thanks so much for joining me and hope you give this technique a try. Bye!